Oh my god. Man. As soon as I saw Kim get into that car and driving and all that shit, I was just like, something is wrong. Something is about to happen. Man, oh my god. Shit. This is what happens when you push yourself way too hard. Jesus. Oh my god. What's up, you guys? This is One Classic Gamer here, and I'd like to welcome you to another combo review. This is going to be a review for episode 8 and 9 of season 3 of Better Call Saul. I didn't catch um, episode 8 last week. I actually missed it last week, so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to miss it this week. I'm going to watch episode 8. And I'm going to watch episode 9, and it's going to be awesome. And, um, yeah, so I did that. So I'm going to start off by talking about episode 8. Even though I really want to talk about what I just saw, um, episode 9, I want to talk about episode 8 first. Episode 8, um, we got a lot of the same sort of stuff with Jimmy. You know, he, he really is struggling money-wise. Like, he's still struggling money-wise in episode 8. He had, like, that whole deal with, like, those um, that guitar store-like people. Like, he said... Hey, I'll, I'll shoot the first commercial. I'll put it up for free. Then you guys need to pay for the other ones if you start reeling in customers. Um, because, I mean, keep in mind, Jimmy's not a lawyer. He, he's been suspended. So he has to think of some way to make money and pay the his side of the lease that he's got with Kim um, with their, like, whatever, their, their office. Their, um, their office. Um, and basically... The guys are like, no, 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 like we're not, we're not gonna do this because you know on TV we'd have to pay way less. You're asking way too much of us. Jimmy decides to just, you know, fucking. He tries something and he actually fails for once. He slips and falls, like, and it was like, I, well, I wouldn't really say he failed. I mean, he still got the money. I don't know where he is getting the money. I think he's taking it out of his bank actually, but, um. He's going back to being Slipping Jimmy, and uh, he's doing reckless things. The most reckless thing is obviously the shit that he pulled in Episode 9, but we're not on Episode 9, right? we're on Episode 8. So, stuff with Jimmy, it's a lot of the same stuff in Episode 8. Um, the really exciting stuff is the stuff of Nacho that we've just been mm, like waiting for this entire season. Um, and he does actually successfully uh, switch the pills for Hector and get him in his jacket uh, pocket. And man, that was a really stressful scene to watch. Jesus, like I was just like, my eyes were glued to the screen for that that scene. It was just like, whoa, that that scene was was great. And um, I, I loved it. That was just a great moment of tension. Like it shows that like, even though this, this show is mo mostly a dialogue show, Vince Gilligan can still make some really intense sequences where you know, he can make shit, like, really intense without even firing a shot. And I think that's um, the true mark of a great TV director and, uh, you know, yeah, TV director and creator. And he, um, he did, that, that scene was just stressful, man. It was just really stressful. Episode 8 was pretty good. Um, we had a scene where, uh, in the beginning, where, Mike is walking around in the desert with a metal detector and he finds like the body of someone. I'm assuming that's the husband of the woman that uh, Mike um, sort of, I'm assuming he has a crush on this woman. Honestly, I am because the way they look at each other, the way they looked at each other in the previous episode, episode seven, I believe, when they first met, uh, kind of insinuated that, you know, there's a little bit of a love thing going on there and... Um, I think he did that. He reported that to the police because he wanted to sort of uh, fix... I mean, he wanted to... Like, he kind of has feelings for this chick and he, for some reason, wanted to sort of just... sort of do right by her in any, in, you know, any way that he can. Either that or he was involved in... Like, he's, he was involved in the murdering of that guy and he wanted to... Uh, you know... He wanted to write that wrong, but at, at this, I mean, I don't really know. I really don't know. There's still some complicated shit going on in the show that even I can't figure out. Um, but um, 
you know, because for the most part, when I was watching these two episodes, I was actually pretty tired. But I still enjoy these episodes a lot. Episode 8 was actually really good. We got a lot of stuff with uh, Nacho, Hector, um, Kim. Let me see. Uh, there was, like, one scene where Kim runs into Howard at, like, um, a restaurant, and she gives him, like, a note right then and there, and he, he's like, what the hell is this? And she's like, you know what, I'm gonna, you know, I don't, you know, I don't need you to be paying for me, you know, and really, it, the, the episode, episode 8 focused mostly on the shit going on with Hector and Nacho and all that, and that was really exciting, that's really exciting stuff, seeing Nacho plan all of this out, the way he did it too, man, everyone is so freaking smart in this show, I swear to God, like, he goes, he jumps up on top of the building in the middle of the night, he takes out, like, the, what I'm assuming is a uh, part of, like, the AC unit, and he purposely sabotages it, so people are, like, like it's, like, really hot in there, and the fans aren't working that well. Hector takes his jacket off. He puts his jacket behind him, like, in the seat, to where it's just hanging. Then, when he's doing a um, business with a, um, what is his name? And I, I'm, I'm tripping out. Crazy 8. Crazy 8. When he's doing business with Crazy 8, um... Someone actually corrected me because in the previous video I said that that guy was Emilio, but it turns out um, in Breaking Bad, Emilio was Crazy Eight, this guy's brother. So yeah, I I, I kind of or I kind of tripped out there, uh, I messed up there. But when he was doing business with Crazy Eight, he did every he handled it all just so perfectly, switching the pills, and um, obviously the most stressful part was dropping the pill bottle in the in the, the jacket pocket, and that, I mean, he was so smooth when he did that, and that was the most stressful part of that scene, oh my god, but, yeah, episode 8 really, um, was setting up a lot of the shit that happens in episode 9, and what's gonna happen in the finale, I'm assuming. Episode 8, I give it a 9 out of 10, episode 8 was really good. Episode 9, man, holy crap, um, see, Episode 9 is when Jimmy starts doing some actual, like, Slipping Jimmy stuff. Like, he, uh, um, again, I don't quite understand. He's trying to get the Sandpiper people, like, um, basically, he, he make, he, he gets his money, basically. That's all I'm gonna say, through Sandpiper. And he does some pretty dirty stuff, and, um, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Howard, I don't know... Honestly, I don't know if I like the direction that they're taking Howard in. I do agree that that Chuck is becoming sort of a liability and he needs to be taken care of, but I don't like the direction that they're taking Howard in. Howard seems like a full-on asshole now. He's treating everyone like shit, and I'm just like, wow. And uh, Chuck is... One thing I do admire about Chuck, though, is Chuck is like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking sue you, and I'm just like, wow, like... That's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, we got some stuff between the two of them. Um, Kim is so stressed out, man. There are so many moments, actually. There are a couple moments in this episode, episode nine, where you see Kim like so stressed out that she she you know is almost making a huge mistake. I mean, at the end, obviously, she makes a huge mistake. She gets into that car accident, and uh, yeah, it's gonna fuck shit up. But um, there were a couple of hints at it, um, in the, in the episode, like, the, in the big, like, middle of the episode, like, when she was, uh, uh, extending her reach to the other client, and, uh, the guy left, and she couldn't get out of the, the dirt, and so she grabs a piece of wood to, um, put underneath the tire and try to push the car out, she almost fucked up right then and there, like, the car almost smashed straight into the freaking like, um, oil thing, or drill, or whatever, um, it's like there were hints, like it, it's smart because episode nine, like this episode, it kind of hints, foreshadows what's, you know, that, that Kim is gonna, at some point gonna really fuck up and she does at the end. She gets in that car accident and, uh, man, that shit is just so crazy. I'm not over that. I'm, I'm still like not over that. That was insane. Um, yeah, that happened, but. Uh, again, the really exciting stuff is with Hector and uh, Nacho, and uh, apparently Hector is done doing business with Gus, and Hector took the pills, and from what I'm seeing, the pills, it doesn't look like they worked at all, 
And um, so Nacho, you have a scene where he's telling his dad, you know what? Bad people are going to come by the shop. I want you to do what they say. And he, the dad is just like, get out of my house. Like it was just such an, it was an emotional scene because Nacho is doing, he's sacrificing his life. He's doing like, he's trying his hardest to like keep, you know, his family safe, his dad safe. And it just backfires and his dad now is going to look at him and just be like, and resent him and, you know, be like, yeah, you know, and it's just every character is in like a really dark spot right now, except for Jimmy. He actually, he is successful, no, even though what he did was kind of dirty. He was successful and he's getting his money now, it seems. And um, yeah, Kim really should have stayed with Jimmy to celebrate because if she would have, she wouldn't have gotten in that car accident. But I mean, this is gonna, man, man, everything is just being set into motion. This season is the first season of Better Call Saul where shit is getting real. Like, it really is getting real. Like, um, season, season one sort of was introducing everything to us. Season two was a little bit, no, not really. Season two wasn't really, you know, the first two seasons have been great and they've been like their own thing. This is the first season where some actual, like, bad shit is going down for the characters. Like, really bad shit. And um, character arcs are finally getting into interesting... Um, the Some of the character arcs are finally getting into interesting, like, points. Like, um, one, one thing I find really fascinating is the fact that even Chuck now, after his whole, like, being sabotaged by Jimmy um, in, the, in the courtroom... He's starting to think, like, he has that scene with the doctor where he's like, I was embarrassed in public and proved that, you know, there was a battery with me for hours and I didn't react at all. So it's like, you know, this illness feels real, but, you know, what if it isn't? What if it's in my head? And it's just one of those things like, oh my God, just all the characters are being taken in like these directions and I'm just like so invested now, so... Yeah, episode 9, uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Actually, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It was really good. So, yeah, those are my reviews for episodes 8 and 9. Um, I'm definitely going to be watching the finale uh, next week. I'm not going to miss it. Do not worry. Um, I, I missed episode 8 because, I honestly, I was just kind of... I forgot about it. I really did kind of forget about it. I mean, when you're doing a lot of shit, you know, and you... It's, it's easy to forget that, you know, Better Call Saul... Is going to be on at 10 o'clock at night on a Monday. You know, usually whenever 10 o'clock comes around, uh, I ha I'm really tired or occupied with something. So it was like, I kind of forgot about episode eight, but I caught it. I watched it. I watched episode eight. I watched episode nine. I've seen them and I'm caught up now and I cannot wait for the finale. So yeah, those are my reviews. If you guys enjoyed these reviews, please comment and subscribe. And next time... Um, we're doing the finale, so I will see you guys then. Peace.